everyone, Marissa here. Um, I, good morning. Let's see if this is working. I think that the camera's working. I just got a new phone, so I got this cool little um, tripod thing that Catherine gave me. Thank you, Catherine. So I could do the Snow Globe Kids um, meditations. But I woke up this morning and I went through Facebook and I've got my personal account and then I've got my regular account for work and I just went through and deleted like probably like 300 people on Facebook and as I was doing that I was like oh my god I feel so much better so I decided that I was going to ask the guides what significance friends on Facebook have and those annoying um just super inappropriate lame people you know you get these messages at like two in the morning like hey how's it going let's talk I got this message from this guy the other night, and I mean, who knows if it's a guy or a girl or what country they're in, but he writes, um, hey, how many kids do you have? And and then like a few days later, I wrote back, why? And then he writes back, uh, what's, your, what's your child's name? I wrote back, why? And um, one of my friends was like, just cut them off. And I'm like, no, I feel like I have more control over them if I keep them on here because then I know if they're they're a freak or a weirdo or what. So, like three days later, it's like one in the morning and I'm I'm doing stuff on the computer, journaling or something like that. And um, this person pops on and says like, "Hey, let's talk." And um, oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Jeff and I were like watching a movie and I was like sneaking texts back trying to respond to like students and clients and stuff. And because um, he was like nodding off asleep, and I told the person I'm hanging out with my husband watching TV, I can't talk. If you want to set up an appointment, talk to Marla. Um, and so they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry if I was inappropriate, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Just right there. They triggered the emotional body. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. So it like triggers you to go, oh, I'm sorry. I felt like this about you. That sucks of me. So remember that. Okay, same with bullies, same with um, stalkers, same with inappropriate comments. If they can get your emotional body to be triggered, they can steal your energy. So anyways, he writes back like 10 minutes later, hey, how's it going? And I was like, I just said that I can't talk. I'm going to block you or something like that. And it was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I, blah, 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 blah. Five minutes later, I think that you're the only person that I want to talk to in the entire world. And I was just like, block. But then I found myself seriously obsessing about it for like three days and, um, not obsessing like to the point of like, like, Oh my God, this person's so annoying, but kind of like telling Jeff about it and telling my mom about it and telling like, probably like Marla or like someone about it. And, um, so when I went through and I did my healing last night, I noticed I had a cord attached to this person and he was straight up stealing my energy. So we have basically, we have a chi center. That chi center is like our gas tank on my website, www.discoverintuition.com. Um, there's a, um, a free, what's it called? Meditation on there for like filling your gas tank each morning and connecting with your higher self. I think it's like a little 17 minute exercise I did with, um, my friend Allison when she came over one day, we just recorded it. So it's, it's on the website. And then there's like a ton of other meditations for like different things, like connecting with your guides, angels, blah, blah, blah. I made them all like a dollar. Some of them that are like attunements and stuff like that, that are infused with healing are a little bit more like $5 or $6 or whatever. But, um, you can basically get like, do like the, the meditation that's on my website that will disconnect you from people. So coffee talk with Marissa. Yes. <laughs> Too bad. I don't have the, the coffee Janice that basically has all of Jeff's vulgarity, um, his coffee cups with like all the vulgarities on them. That would be really funny. Um, the spiritual, the spiritual counselor with the, with the, <laughs> with the inappropriate mug. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so I was doing the, I, I decided this morning or last night I was going to clear my energy because I was just like, oh my God, I feel like crap. I felt like basically like a balloon, like deflated. Um, I'm still connected to this guy. And then, um, there was like a bunch of people like Marla made, um, good morning, Jeannie. Um, Marla had made a comment the other day on one of my videos, like, Hey, show me your boobs. You know, you always get those people on Periscope that are just like, basically there to say inappropriate things to upset you to make you feel uncomfortable and I didn't really think anything of it until I did this channeling this morning when I woke up and they basically said 
if they're if they're provoking you, if they're saying things like that, what they're doing is they're people who have lost their connection or they don't have as strong of a connection to basically source or their higher self. So basically like the energy is coming in, but it's not filling up like their energy center. So you think about like, you know, the, the class clown in, in um, school growing up. That class clown probably didn't get a lot of attention at home, so they didn't have a lot of energy. So what they're doing is they're provoking people in class. They're provoking the teacher to pay attention to them, and in turn, they're plugging into them. So I want you to look at it kind of like, here. here's my book, my, my shameless um, attempt to market the snow globe. Um, no, but here's, so here's our energy field, basically. You've got like the inappropriate person, the bully, the Facebook um, stalker, you've got the periscope perv, you've got like all of these like inappropriate people online. Um, and I'm, I know there's a lot of other social media things, it, I'm, people in the media, people like on TV, people that are in the public, I'm sure are like the most drained people in the world. Um, this is basically your snow globe. You're connected to source when you're born as a child. And as the years go by, you start to kind of lose your connection because whether it's through religion, where religion says, nope, you can't go to God on your own. You have to come over to the minister or the pastor and you have to, you know, come to the church in order to get to God um, or some spiritual practices, you know, but God is in here inside of us. And if we could know that and we could know that we could fill up our gas tank, which is like right gas tank, right? Like here, right below our belly button. That's like our chi gas tank. Um, if you just fill it up each morning, you're going to have a lot more energy. You're not going to feel as irritated and you're not going to feel as drained. You're not going to feel as angry because if your energy is high within your snow globe, your snow globe is like a balloon. It goes up. So the guides gave me like a little exercise that we could do. Like if you have someone that's just like irritating the heck out of you or, um, you know, and you've already blocked them on Facebook, you've already blocked them on Periscope, you've already blocked them like whatever in it or if in real life, you know, you're getting someone that's, that's doing, that. I mean, I know this is real life, but like, not really, but cause people can pretend to be something that they're not on here and, you know, say their one name and then harass the crap out of you. And really it's somebody that you may know for, for all you know. So I've been noticing that I've just been getting a lot of like harassing people and they, they dig, they, they, they get in there like, you know, like the guy saying like, Oh, what's your daughter's name? That was the emotional body. How old's your daughter? So I officially am not posting any pictures of Madison on here. If you're my friend, I'll have pictures there of her because I have my personal account. But I just went through and deleted like all these, a bunch of people that I didn't know on Facebook because it's just really creepy. Um, so anyways, the exercise that you can do to disconnect from people, whether these are people that you know, whether it's, um, you know, your, your, um, husband's best friend is the class clown and he comes over and he makes inappropriate comments and, and just does stuff that kind of like irritates you. Well, he could be plugging into your gas tank and he could be basically taking your energy. Me, I feel sorry for the people. I go, Oh, I feel so bad for them. They don't have any energy, but you know what? I don't have enough energy, so I'm going to officially disconnect from all the, the people that, that are, are draining us, and yeah, it is pretty bad, Jeannie, but you know what? It, it happens. Our, our brothers, our sisters, our moms, our, our cousins, our family members, our best friends do it. Um, it's, it's someone who's looking for gas, gas tank. Somebody who's looking for light, basically, they've lost their light. And a lot of healers do it. I've noticed, you know, a lot of healers do it uh, that are, you know, just getting into spirituality and stuff and they're starting to open up. So they're starting to expend more energy, but they haven't fully established like their connection with source and known that, oh, I'm worthy. I can fill up my energy all the time. I'm worthy. I can fill up my energy all the time. Or they forget to. So they're giving out all their energy. So what they'll do is they'll plug into like, Oh, that person has a lot of energy. And again, this is totally subconscious. This is not a conscious thing that people do. It's just, it's just like, it's just energy. I'm, I'm sure if we could just see us all as like little molecules or photons or whatever it is that we are, um, basically you would see that the higher energy stuff is being brought down to here. So this can go back up. And I mean, that's kind of how attunement works. So, um, I've had a lot of people tell me that that stuff happens to them online. I mean, one of my really good friends gets like stalked her ass like all the time and she's not a healer or anything. Um, and 
it bothers her. Like it, like, you know, we'll be sitting there chatting and she'll be like, Oh, this person said this really gross thing to me the other night. And so I'll tune into her energy and I'll see, Oh my God, you have like a straight up entity attached to you that, that they like grossed you out your field opened and whatever it was that they had in their field jumped in your field. So anyways, I wanted to teach you guys, guys and girls. It's not just girls. <laughs> this is just, um, I'm seeing more and more how this is happening because I, now I know what to look for, but, um, I'm laughing because I have Periscope going too. And usually I have like a bunch of people on here, but since I wrote, um, pervs and, um, stalkers are energy vampires. I have literally one person on Periscope. I think this is awesome. That's so funny. Um, I guess that's just what I have to write before I do a Periscope thing. But um, anyways, we've got the non-perv over here. The mom jellic. Awesome. <laughs> anyways, so here's the exercise that you're going to do. Okay? So it's straight out of the Snow Globe book. Again, shameless um, marketing. Here it's on Amazon. Um, the ebook is only like two bucks. If you go to my website, www.discoverintuition.com, um, you can just write in and I'll send it to you for free, the, the ebook. Um, or you can go on Amazon and buy it. I think it's like five bucks. We made it as cheap as we possibly could, me and my dad, um, on Amazon. And it does kind of help to have the book because, um, there's an exercise in the back where you basically like do this exercise and you kind of like hold the book right here. And I've infused it with a bunch of like clearing energies and source codes and things like that. So anyways, that, um, what you're going to do is you're just going to, um, Close your eyes. You're going to say, I am a snow globe. And just breathe in your nose. I see someone scrambling to go sit down. I'll wait a second. Okay, you comfy? There we go. I just like imagine someone going, shut up kids. I'm trying to be peaceful. <laughs> Was that you, Isabel? I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, Anne's there. Joel. Hey, Joel. How's it going? Is Amy on here? I'm trying to see who's on here. Janice. Or was that you, Janice? There you go, Tiffany. Hey, girls. Okay, so let's do the exercise. And you can always go back and re-listen to this. Okay, so close your eyes. I am now a snow globe in your mind. And there's two ways to do this. You can either imagine that you are literally inside a snow globe, that your physical body is the statue. And you can start to kind of just bring your awareness, just say, where is my awareness? Um, and just pull your awareness wherever it is into the center of your brain and just kind of breathe in, breathe out. And as you're breathing, your awareness is going to start to drop. It's going to drop down through your head, down through your throat, your heart, and right below the heart. It's, it's like right here where that little pokey thing is right there. I can't remember what it's called. And I'm a medical intuitive. That's funny. Um, my guide just said that. That's funny. Uh, so right here, that little thing, right below your heart, you have a big ball of light. That big ball of light is your Christed center. It's the intelligence within you. It's your higher self. It's not your soul. It's kind of like a hard drive. And it carries all of your lifetimes, all of your family's lifetimes, all of your soul pod's lifetimes. It's like a lot of people will see it as like a big Jesus head or like a you know, like an ascended master or something, if they're actually looking to see what that looks like in their field. So just drop down into that bubble right there. And I want you to just feel what it feels like. Or look to see what it looks like. The other option in this, after you've kind of tuned into this piece of you, is if you have a hard time imagining that you are in a snow globe, you can imagine that there's like a table in front of you and there's like a snow globe sitting on it. So I am now a snow globe. And then right in front of you, 
while you're pulling your awareness down through your head down. I'm kind of helping some of you. I can see some of you getting stuck at the throat. There you go. Clearing some spirits off some of you. Um, right here below the heart, once you're there, just kind of imagine that there's a snow globe on a table. And that snow globe may look different every single day. It may be tiny, it may be big, it may be black, it may be white, it may be colorful. It's going gonna, it's gonna to change every day because you change every day. And that's basically how this works. So you can do that visualization or you can just go about the, the, the visualization from the book and just feel what your, your statue feels like. Does it feel slimy? Does it feel dry? Does it feel clean? Does it feel black, white, colored, orange, green, red? You're going to feel different all the time. What, what shape is your statue in the middle? And then you're going to bring your awareness out to the water around your statue. Is it clean? Is it dirty? Is it goopy? Are you alone in your snow globe? Do you feel like there's people standing behind you? Do you feel like there's stuff floating around? Sternum, thank you. <laughs> I don't know who wrote that. I just saw it pop up. So are you alone in your snow globe? If you're not, you can do a couple things. This is the easiest one. I am now alone in my snow globe. And either the bottom of the snow globe will, will like, flush down like a toilet or something like like the people whoever's in there that's not your guides that's not your higher self will just go whoosh, down into the center of the earth where source is get nurtured with unconditional love and either get crossed over or most likely it's not even spirits they may seem like spirits but it may just be like fragments of people that you've picked up through the day they're like fuzz on velcro when you walk around it's like they just stick to you but they, they're not really even like souls. Or they may go up through the top of the snow globe. You can imagine like a hand coming down and just going whoop, pulling them out. Or sometimes I'll imagine kind of like an elevator door, which would totally defeat the purpose of the whole snow globe thing because all the water would come out. But you can just pretend for a second that you're an elevator <laughs> and it opens and the people go out. And so now you are alone in your snow globe. I am now alone in my snow globe. And then just look to see what the glass looks like. Look to see what the, oh, hold on. You guys are still releasing people. Is the glass clean? Is it dirty? Is it, has it, does it have fingerprints on it? The fingerprints are actually called imprints where uh, spirit energies or other people that have been in your field will leave like little fingerprints which leave subconscious marks in your mind. So you could have their memories in your head. You could have their thoughts. You could have their, their likes and dislikes and not even know that they're not yours. So now what you're going to do is if you can imagine that you look up, there's a big, huge snow globe, like 20 feet in the sky, directly above you, not to the left, not to the right. There's reasons behind that, that I don't go into in the book, but there's good reasons. Just directly up. If you feel like it's a little to the left, just in your mind, just go, no, straight up. If it's a little to the right, it's coming from like an angel or an ascended master or something. No, straight up. The left side's usually the bad side. So just directly, 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 directly up. And if you go up like two feet, I see some people go up like two feet and it's directly up and then they'll start to go to the side. Just pull energy from that that's like two feet up from you. It doesn't have to be super high. It just has to be above you. At least two feet above you. There we go. And then you can just say clear or whatever or you just visualize um, light like a laser beam coming down from the snow globe right above you or way up above you and it's going to come down through your head through the statue and it's going to start to fill this bubble right here. And as it fills the bubble, it's going to be like really fast. It's just going to go like that and everything's going to clear. 
like all the snow snowflakes, all the the water is going to get clear. The snowflakes are going to turn white. The the glass is going to have no fingerprints. If you have like cracks or holes like in your snow globe and there's like water leaking out, those are going to be fixed. It's like immediate because you're not just pulling in light into like a bubble the way that they teach in like most spiritual stuff is like this is actually programmed with like with um quantum healing and the source codes and all that and that's why I was saying it's good to have the book because I have it all programmed um but it's also fine without it too um that's more just for the manifestation exercise so after you've cleared your snow globe this is the thing I did not know you're going to ask if anybody is pulling from you and just say in your mind to say, show me any connections or show me any vampire energies. And all of a sudden you'll be like, whoa, there's like a big tube coming out of me here. Or if you're looking at it on the, on the table, you know, and you've called in the light energy and it's cleaned your snow globe, you'll be like, wow, there's like a little, like, um, like a little straw sticking out of my snow globe over there. That's weird. And then all you're going to say, this is a source code, say anti-vampire 63. And this is something that the guides gave me this morning. So it's a lot easier than going, oh, I need to disconnect them. I need to do this. It's just anything that I've defined this morning in the morphic field, basically, of a, the energy vampires. That will all be disconnected from you. You may find that you're connected to people and taking their energy, too, and that'll get disconnected. But don't worry, we're going to reconnect everyone to source. <clears throat> Anti-vampire 63. And like a tidal wave or something you can just imagine coming down and just disconnecting everything. And this will permanently block them, at least for now, um, from reconnecting. It may take like a day. <clears throat> but the more you check this, the more you, you make sure that you're not being drained by other people, the better. And if you want, if you're a visual person or if you're fairly intuitive, you can ask who the people are. And you can't get mad at them. They just don't have a connection to source. The pervs and the weird energy vampires on Periscope and Facebook and social media, they can go find their own connection. But if it's like a friend that's doing this or like, um, you know, like a client that you love or a family member or something like that, you can just, in your mind, just ask that their higher self reconnect them to source. Don't visualize it. Don't get involved. Just say, just say if it's for their highest and best good, I ask that their higher self reconnect them to source. Um, in the highest and best way. That way they can find their own way. And then the last thing you're going to do is basically imagine that your snow globe has like a little cord on the very top of it and your snow globe at the bottom has like a little like cord and you're just going to ask to reconnect to the heaven and earth. So reconnect to heaven and earth, and you're just going to feel like, boom, boom. like, And you can just imagine it. However you need to imagine it. <clears throat> and remember, if you're like new to this stuff, and you're like, what's this girl freaking talking about? She's insane. We're using the law of correspondence, the law of hermetics, the law of one, the law of cause and effect, and some other universal laws, basically, that energy healers used to do distant healings on people where we turn people into like a teddy bear or you know we go this is by law correspondence this is now Janice I see Janice's name there um, and then I start sending healing to the coffee cup it's because if we are all one in essence I'm this coffee cup she's this coffee cup and we just need to intend that that is them law of correspondence is as above so below and so if you're imagining it within your mind while connected to your quantum self, which is this. Now, if you were to just go into this and just go like, oh, Janice is now a coffee cup and start sending her energy. Yeah, maybe she gets some, but it's not going to be as, um, 
it's not going to be as effective. It's not going to be as drastic. It's you have to get you have to bring your awareness out from La La Land, wherever it is, worrying about this or thinking about Hawaii or thinking about changing the tires or thinking about this. If your awareness is outside of you somewhere floating around, your brain is doing the healing. And that's not as effective at all as if you get into that quantum aspect of yourself. And once you're in that quantum aspect of yourself, you can then visualize and be like, you know, this shell is me um, and then send healing to it. Or say, this shell's now me, show me what this shell feels like. And all of a sudden it's like, whoa, the energy is like really like much bigger. So that's actually an exercise that I teach people in class is <clears throat> taking an actual item and just kind of hold it and feel it. And then say, this is now me. And then you can either imagine this as a snow globe. And the snow globe is basically represents the Taurus field. It's T-O-R-U-S. It's the electromagnetic field around every living thing and every in out of an object has it too. So the, um, oh good, you stayed up late. Cool. Well, listen to this and do the, do the clearing on this. There's, there's healing encoded in here. So the, um, basically imagine that this is a snow globe. This is now me. You feel it, and it's like, oh, the energy shifted, the energy changed. And then this is now a snow globe, and now I'm imagining it. It's like, oh, it's kind of clean. It's got a little reindeer in the middle, or that's what I'm imagining. And over off to the left, there's like a little dark cloud. So I'll just say clear, and the energy comes down from above. I'm going to imagine that. It goes in, it clears that. And the anti-vampire 63... I see energy come down over it and kind of clear the whole snow globe like a tidal wave's coming over it. That's the way I see it. You'll see it a different way, or you may see it like that. And then reconnect to heaven and earth. And it's like, choop, choop. So by watching it happen on the shell, it's actually happening on me. And it may not happen in real time. It may take like an hour or two for all the energy to start kicking in. But you witnessing it is what's called watching it go quantum. So you're basically watching it connect. And as long as you're witnessing it, then it's going to happen. It may not happen immediately, but it will happen over the next minute, two minutes, five minutes, two hours, whatever. And I've actually been like, okay, hurry up. Okay, faster. Or what do I have to witness in order for this to be instant? Oh, okay. I need to see gold energy coming down over it. All right. Okay. And you just watch. You're not using your mind for this. You're just witnessing. You're just watching. So Anyways, I hope that this is able to help some people that get harassed by moms, dads, brothers, sisters, husbands, friends, doggies. Hi, Gucci. Come here. Come on. Come on. Say hi. This is not an energy vampire. This baby gets energy vampired by people. So anyways, try and do this like once or twice a day. And like I, like I just did with the shell thing, it could be that fast or you could just you know, enjoy the energy coming down and be like, oh, wow, this, this feels really good and, and just sit and enjoy running energy. I mean, running energy is awesome. A lot of people will get into like quantum healing and be like, oh, I want it to be instant. I want it to be instant, but you're not actually enjoying like the feeling of having energy running in. So the, just so you know, um, above when you're calling in that energy, I programmed with a lot of stuff, but it's, it's the white light from the creator, which would be white light of the Holy Spirit. Um, or unconditional love. It's the golden light of Christ, the Christed realms. And then it's silver light from your I am presence or your like future ascended self. So that has like specialized healing in it. Your higher self is setting that down. So that's like three energies that are coming in, but you could see it any way. It'll be, it may look like a big white tidal wave. It may look like orange energy. It may look like green. It doesn't matter. But as you practice and you get used to kind of your higher self, you'll see that different things come in when different like things are in your field and you'll be like, Oh wow. And that just flew through my um, snow globe and like took something away. I wonder what that was. And then, you know, it may happen like five or six more times all the time after you were with your sister or something like that, or your brother or your dad or your mom. So you can start to kind of like learn to communicate with your higher self, with those higher aspects of yourself through simple visualizations like the snow globe. So Anyways, uh, website, www.discoverintuition.com. I've got the free meditation on there. I was working on my site last night, and I accidentally deleted it. I think I put it back on there. I'll check it now when I uh, get off the camera. 
and um, there's a meditation there. And then um, if you want the free ebook, just email me. Lexi, my niece, will um, send you the ebook later on. I think she's working right now, but later on today or for sure by tomorrow. Um, but if you'd like to support me and my dad, um, uh, we're trying to get our book published. So I think it needs to sell like a certain amount of copies on our own. So if you want to gift it to someone, we made it super cheap so that people would buy it. Um, and, um, it's, it's, um, it's awesome. It took us, it was the quickest book we've ever done and it's super awesome. It explains chords and attachments and, and spirits and, and, um, you know, how to use a very safe, Christ-based way, doesn't have to be Christian, Christ-based, Christ energy-based way to clear your energy, cut cords, and all that. So, yay, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh my God, that's awesome. So, anyway, thanks guys. Have a fabulous day, and let me know if you have questions, okay? Um, I will hopefully be doing one of these a day, so hopefully see you tomorrow, but, you know, Jeff's home today, so he's feeding Madison, so I snuck outside to do this. Okay, love everyone. Bye.